Hi guys. Hello people. I'm Milana. I'm Lola. And we're starting a new show. This week is a week of new shows, people. And the next one as well. Yes, this so month like, is a month this of new month. shows. <laughs> we changed we basically fin- I somehow all just our finished shows. all the shows we were watching. Except Mo- Mob Psycho. Which is gonna be done <laughs> soon as well, I guess. Soon-ish. Yeah. Unfortunately. So, yes, today is a new show. We, if you're not follow us on patreon we did a poll where we put three of the shows that i feel like over the years have been the, the most, most requested, requested things of in live. the world live actions yeah. yeah uh we put we gave you mr robot last kingdom and black sales and mr robot won by like i think nearly 50 percent yeah so mr. here we are robot and i think last kingdom and black sales were pretty tight yeah like or around close. 20 something and Mr. Robot really won by far. Yeah. So here we are. And so here we are. I watched first three episodes of Mr. Robot, like, let's say a year ago, mm-hmm. because I didn't think we were going to react to it, like, mm-hmm. ever. Uh, and I watched the episode. I remember that I liked it. It I didn't want to watch. It was too serious for me to watch back then. Like, I... Uh, wanted to watch like comedy or something like that in my spare time so that's why I stopped I always plan to go back and here we are <laughs> going back <laughs> honestly very excited I remember I remember that I thought it was good and that I was interested in it but I think I do remember those three ep- first three episodes quite well in, mm. in my opinion I don't think it's gonna be anything surprising for me in these first <laughs> so three episodes. So the first episodes. three episodes are my reaction. Yeah. <laughs> All the reacts to Mr. Robot for the first three episodes. <laughs> I, I have not seen the first three episodes. I've not seen really anything. Like, I always knew of Mr. Robot. I remember when it was still, like, coming out. And a lot of people really liked it. I just never watched it for whatever reason. I'm not even quite sure what it's about. I think... In my mind, what Mr. Robot is about, I think he is like a white hat hacker. I don't know why I think that though. Did I maybe some like at some point back in the day read the description? I don't know. I feel like he's like he's a white hat hacker. That's what's in my mind. He's definitely in that universe. Maybe we'll hear drilling noises. A little drilling. A bit. I yeah. think they're making like a closet or something. Yeah. That's our assumption. <laughs> it's not because it's not um, that loud yeah to be something in the building you know like does mr robot like he's played by rami i feel like what i've seen from him is he like on the spectrum of autism or something let's see i will see okay because like it always seemed to me like he was like in a similar way to i i have not seen the show is it called the good the good doctor does he also have like autism? Yeah, he does. So yeah, that like that's, I think that's some that's something that like I have in mind that it's that his character is, but I could be wrong, but I don't think I am fully wrong. I will not spoil anything that I have found out in first three episodes. <laughs> okay, good. Thank you so much. That's basically it. Okay, so let's watch. Let's see. Let's see what this show is about. We're gonna be with it for. Quite some episodes. Time. <laughs> I mean, if we like it, if we don't like it, I then think we're gonna like it. At I least like I do. Like I will. I feel like. I mean, I always felt like it was gonna be a show that I would like. I just never played it. Hello, friend. Hello. Hello, friend. That's lame. Maybe I should give you a name. Shit. It's actually happened. I'm talking to an imaginary person. Okay. What I'm about to tell you is top secret. There's a powerful group of people out there that are secretly running the world. Ah, it's not really a conspiracy, it's kind I'm of fact. About the guys, no one knows about the guys that are invisible. Mm. The top 1% of the top 1%, the guys that play God without permission. What? Am I wrong about his career? <laughs> the fuck did you uncover, boy? Like, did he uncover something while... Yes, I remember you l- really l- enjoying night. these this first three episodes. Instead, I went to... Hans Coffee. You're wrong. Can I help you with something? I like coming here, because your Wi-Fi was fast. And so good, it scratched that part of my mind. Part that doesn't allow good to exist without condition. So, I started intercepting all the traffic on your network. That's when I noticed something strange. That's when I decided to hack you. 
Okay, maybe I'm not wrong, but it's good. <laughs> I know you run a website called Plato's Voice. No, what is Plato's Voice? Yeah, networking protocol is not as anonymous as you think it is. Whoever's in control of the exit nodes is also in control of the traffic, mm -hmm. which makes me the one in control. And I must ask you to kindly of leave. I own everything. All your emails, all your files. Get out of here right now. Call the police. And you want them to find out about the 100 terabytes of child pornography you served to your 400,000 users? I fucking hope they find out about Personally, it. Personally, man, I was hoping it was just gonna be some BDSM stuff. You realize how much simpler that would have been? I did not hurt anyone. What the fuck are you? What, what child pornography is this person alive? I understand what it's like to be different. There's good no, different, there's bad different. Kids. What is he? What is he? What is he trying to do? Are you blackmailing me? So that's what this is about. Money. If I pay you now, you want more and more. No matter how much I give, you will inform the police anyway. I won't pay you, sir. Remember, you also broke the law. See, I usually do this kind of thing from my computer, but this time I wanted to do it AFK, in person. I'm trying to work on my social anxiety, but there's always the threat of you fleeing after I call you out. You know, you tell your sysadmin to take your servers down, wipe all the data. So I made sure to include the current time and location on my anonymous tip. Wait, hold on. I'll give you the money. I'll pay you. That's the part you're wrong about, Rohit. I don't give a shit about money. So he's not a white hat hacker yet, he's not employed. <laughs> oh, they want to recruit you, boy, I think. <laughs> I mean, I would. I sound like someone with my powers. In three short minutes, I destroyed a man's business, life, existence. Hey! I mean, I am acting like the people hey, in power also hey, don't traffic child porn. But I'm only a vigilante hacker by night, by day, just a regular cybersecurity engineer. Okay. His name is Elliot? Mm -hmm. Say never knew his name. <laughs> That's my childhood friend Angela. She can be a bit high strung sometimes, but trust me, she's one of the good ones. What am I looking at? Is this a log file? This was a Ruby attack. This is awesome. Get in here. Yes, 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 yes. This is awesome. This is killing us, Elliot. Start smoking again. Did you not get my text last night? He had a good reason. You promised me that you were gonna try this time. <laughs> Stop thinking about something else when I'm talking to you. For some reason, I think you secretly hate it here. She was right. I like most of the people, but our business, a cybersecurity firm that protects corporations. I can't think of anything I hate more. No, I love it here. <laughs> Yo, buddy. Missed you last night. Where were you? I had to go to a big meeting today. He can't stand me. And you know why, Angela? I can't have that kind of thing in my life. What? I can't have that negativity in my life. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> He's our childhood friend. First time you came to me. I didn't exactly come to Krista. I was forced here, but I do like her. Hacking her was simple. Her password, Dylan2799. Though she's a psychologist, she's really bad at reading people, but I'm good at reading people. My secret? I look for the worst in them. <laughs> I know she went through a divorce four years ago. I know she was devastated <laughs> by it and has been dating losers on the Harmony ever since. Oh my god, boy. Michael Hansen. I searched for him online, but nothing came up. No LinkedIn, no Facebook, nothing. Something about him bugs me, but I'll hack him soon enough. I always do. And we need to work on your anger issues, Elliot. You're angry at everyone. At society. Fuck society. I know you have a lot to be angry I'm about, <laughs> keeping it to yourself and staying quiet like you're doing, it's not going to help you. And what is it about society that disappoints you so much? Where do you want to start? <laughs> is it that we collectively thought Steve Jobs was a great man, even when we knew he made billions off the backs of children? Or maybe it's that it feels like all our heroes are counterfeit, spamming each other with our running commentary of bullshit masquerading as insight or is it that we voted for this not with our rigged elections but with our things our property our money and we 
don't know why we do this, not because Hunger Games books makes us happy, but because we want to be sedated. Because it's painful not to pretend. Because we're cowards. Fuck society. Oh. Elliot, you're not saying anything. What's wrong? Nothing. Did you go to Angela's birthday party? <laughs> I feel like birthday party is a lot for a person with social anxiety just to like go first there. Like what about like six people first? Did you try to talk to anyone? I got a girl's number. You did? She's cute. She likes the hunger games. <laughs> You're hiding again. Elliot. Let's talk about the men in black you've been seeing. Are they still there? I told you they're gone. Look, but you and Angela have been close for a long time. I feel like things have been awkward between us. Don't you? I'm okay with it being awkward between you. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm not okay with that. I don't normally do stuff like that. Am I crazy not to like this guy? <laughs> Honestly, no, boy. Some of this no. Like the George W. Bush's decision points to Transformers 2, Revenge of the Fallen. And the music of Josh Groban. Must I really justify myself? Honestly, no, you're a good boy. This was the easiest to have. That's what was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I witnessed this first I love you with Angela over G chat. This is so wrong. This is very oh. I was crossing so many lines, boy. I like you, bro. And I'm He said they keep hacking them, right? Is he the one that keeps hacking them? Oh, hi. Tyrell Willick, Senior Vice President of Technology. Elliot, just a tech. Don't be so humble. You know, I started out exactly where you are, and to be honest, you know, my heart is still there. It's going to be fun working with you. Bonsoir, Elliot. If it weren't for QWERTY, I'd be completely empty. This crime's been happening too often every other week now. What do normal people do when they get this sad? They reach out to friends or family, I think. That's not an option. I do morphine. The key to doing morphine without turning into a junkie is to limit yourself to 30 milligrams a day. Anything more just builds up your tolerance. I have 8 milligrams suloxone for maintenance in case I go through withdrawals. Shit. I'm out again. How much? Um, half. No, Shayla. You wanna do these together then? Pure Molly. Don't ever make decisions when you're on morphine. Instagram check in for Krista if you're a Lodi. Okay, my boy. Time to find out who you really are. He's just going by gut instinct that there's something wrong with him. I mean, I feel like he's right. <laughs> there's gonna be something wrong. But. Is that the guy from the Metro? Boy, how do I tell you this? You look like the last person to give a phone to. No answer. Thanks anyway. Hey, Elliot. Hey, Elliot. This looks so smooth. Angela, is everything okay? I need you to come to Allsafe. You're there? It's 3 in the morning. They attacked Eagle Corp service again, but it's bad this time. It's DDoS attack. I'll be right there. Finally. Calm down. It's only been an hour. Yeah, one hour, Eagle Corp. 
dollar sign is like thirteen million dollars. You have it approximately. Actually, I calculated that. That's exactly how much they're <laughs> Elliot, this is bad. <laughs> Worst DDoS attack I've ever seen. I think Elliot is impressed. Shit, this is worse than I thought. They're in the network. Or what's the status update? Who's they? Was they? Honestly, I thought course. he was hacking them as well. Where's the attack coming from? Everywhere, obviously. USA, Finland. Thailand. I feel like I can't talk. You know. I know you can't tell me anything. <laughs> I can't comment. On what anything. do you think is that? <laughs> I'm okay. shocked how much I remember. Because like it's been a year at least. Please stop it. That's the thing. It's fundamentally invisible. You can't stop it. All of their servers are coming out. None of our coming back. Whoever's doing this, Elliot is like fucking higher me. I'm sure he did, uh, but like, why do you bring it up? No. You really didn't know he <laughs> looks at everyone's life. Consider this me coming up to you, honey. okay? Pardon, I don't like to talk about my sex life, but my partner, he gets very paranoid. He thinks I'm ashamed. He wants me to be more public about it. So, anyway. <laughs> 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 I was like, he's about to talk about his sex life with an employee. <laughs> like, what the fuck are you doing that? He calls the shots. Maybe it's the guy that he talked to. Evil Corp is he's talking about Linux. If we lose them, it's gonna be it for us. It's gonna be it. F society. But does he? Hmm. Does he have like a like a split personality? As in, like, is that him? Because like F society is like very. Well, that, that's too close to him. I don't know if he's like imagining things. Like he's imagining this guy because this guy keeps showing up. That's just weird. Is that does? <laughs> I hate that you know and I don't know what's happening. That's his mind, Ben. Okay, he might not be in his brain. Obviously, you're gonna ask a lot of questions. It's weird what you're doing right now. I get it. I can't tell you anything until we get there. <laughs> He's just gonna follow you. I feel like that that is something he <laughs> would do. So can't smoke in here. <laughs> You've been following me. What do you want from me? My dad was a petty thief. Never could hold down a job, so he just robbed. He said. Everyone steals. That's how it works. You think people out there are getting exactly what they deserve? No. They're getting paid over or under. But someone in the chain always gets paid most. 
I steal, son. But I don't get caught. That's my contract with society. Now, if you can catch me stealing, then I'll go to jail. If you can't, then I burn the money. A few years after that, we finally caught him. Send him to jail. He dies five years later. My respect goes with him. He was in prison, just like you are now, I mean. I'm gonna break you out. <laughs> Honestly, I'm still not quite sure if he's imagining him. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. I don't think you can be imagining these many people, so like, I'm that's gonna assume that it's gonna be fine. You. But like, just wait a second. <laughs> but like, this guy. You guys actually need The rule here is it's done here and only here. It ends when you walk out that door and begins when you walk in. Our encryption is the real world. How do you talk to each other then? We don't. We come and go, work on the project when we can. How do you trust them? I give them an exercise. If they pass, they join us. If they fail... DDoS attack last night. We were testing me. So there was a project. What's the project? That'll come later. I just wanted you to see the place. I'm crazy. I'm crazy because I didn't This is a delusion. Is this a delusion? This is my thought process while watching. Have I really lost it this time? No, no. Last night happened. It was real. Angela called me. I was at all safe. Evil Corp servers were compromised. Those are facts, not delusions. Roger, here. You wanna get high and watch your favorite movie? Yeah, that. Back to the future? She still loves me. Shit. She wasn't supposed to be here. Okay, give me a minute and I'll get rid of her. That's fine. This is great. How long has she been there? She's dead. How long has she been there? 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 Leave. Now. No mention of Mr. Robot anywhere. <laughs> no mention of that society. The property was owned by Fun Society Amusement LLC for 13 years. Fun Society. Oh no, shot and killed a year and a half ago. No one or since. That's interesting. Shot and, and killed. Before that, <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's interesting. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Usually when they like mention things like that in passing, I'm like, like they was shot and killed by who? Am I supposed to like think into that? Boy, why? <laughs> why would we do something like that? See, I always thought he was Mr. Robot. <laughs> yeah, me too. That's why I thought, I thought he was imagining things because like they yeah. said Mr. Robot. I was like, where I got him? <laughs> Bullshit. When are you gonna give us access to the root directory? What? Dude, come on. I wrote that root kit. I still have to put Colby's IP in the dat file. She's like, cut the bullshit, dickhead. She's called me a dickhead. Yeah, that's Darlene. Darlene. Hey. Never thought a person below 17 could be called Darlene. <laughs> I'm here to tell you I'm turning you in. Conglomerate so deeply entrenched in the world's economy. You're too big to fail as even come close to describing it. You want to create another financial meltdown like the one we just had, but way worse. Yeah, why would I want that? Everyone would lose their money. What if I told you that this conglomerate just so happens to own 70% of the global consumer credit industry? Huh? 
That would erase all the debts we owe them. Every record of every credit card, loan, and mortgage would be wiped clean. It'd be impossible to reinforce outdated paper records. It would all be gone. The single biggest incident of wealth redistribution. I love them. <laughs> I love them. I'm with them. Let's take down capitalism. Let's <laughs> fucking do it. That's why you pick me. Because I work at All Safe. Tomorrow, All Safe is going to get a visit from the FBI. You are going to modify the death Put Colby's terminal IP address in there. You're going to frame him? No one's going to believe that. Even if they don't believe he did it, they believe he gave someone access to it. Yeah, I'll just go to jail. What good will that do? You don't take down a cadaver by shooting him in the heart. You take him down limb by limb. Because they unravel. Their illusion of control unravels. Who are you? Oh, come on. Right now, you have a lot to think about. You do that? You have set in motion the largest revolution the world will ever see. <laughs> what a decision to make. Well, take the sun away. All the birds that flew in a summer sky. When our love was new and our hearts were high. When the night was long. Hmm. And the moon stood still for the night bird's song. That's ridiculous. If you go away, two hundred thousand sooner that that's fucking ridiculous. Can I tell you now as you turn to go? I'll be dying slowly. Till you're next to Lord. If you go away. If you go away. So, what do we got? So, if you'll take a look at the first page of your agenda. You're the one who stopped the hack. You know, uh, the gals in analysis said this was a tough one, all things being equal. Should have shut us down for days, so. You did good. Okay. Okay, we first noticed the breach at 2.07 a.m. Eastern Standard on Friday night. You mean Saturday? Sorry, yes. Well, that's what we're here for, the technicals. Right. That's rude. He arrived at the office at 2.35 and I instructed... Okay, wait, wait, wait. So that's uh, almost a half hour after the initial breach. Why didn't anyone pipe in from their laptops? It's not... It wouldn't have been secure. It was a smarter move to have someone come in so they can log in on a secure line. Exactly. Ben Lloyd was able to enjoy the Actually, just one, sir. I mean, I was just waiting for it. I thought it was just going to be out loud. Let's pick it up where we left off. What happened to Angela? She knows more about what happened. She's not going to work out for us. Now, and that's why we're bringing you down. <laughs> I can't sit here and look through a packet for the next 20 minutes. Alright, just who did this? Is it that hard? I found the configuration file of the root kit with a pattern of IP addresses. Oh, but he saw you switch it. And he doesn't seem dumb. No news, no arrest, no revolution. No FBI, Colby, Evil Corp, no Mr. Robot. <laughs> no F Society. This is not where you go when you need to take on your mind of things. <laughs> this is so wrong, boy. What I wouldn't give to be normal. Mm. To live in that bubble. The reality of the naive. That's how I justify this. To keep their optimism intact. To protect them. I think I'm missing something. I'm missing something. Michael Hansen is in his real name. That's odd. Does he have a baby? Hey Shannon? Michael Hansen? 
what you're playing tonight. You're going to stop seeing Krista. What the fuck? You're going to break up with her. You're never going to see her again. You cheated on your current wife with seven different women. I got digital proof of all of it. Ashley Madison, online escorts, fake Facebook pages. And if you don't stop seeing her, your wife will know everything, along with the police. The police? Yeah, one of the escorts was 15. That 15 part I made up, but he did have a proclivity for young escorts that helped a lot. But I'm not going to do any of that, as long as you break up with Krista. <sighs> You're also going to tell her the truth. You never had any intention of being serious with her. That would destroy her. She thinks that we're in love. Krista needs to avoid dickheads like you in the future. Her radar needs fixing. I'll know if you mm. skip any detail. Oh boy. So don't. And one more thing. I'm gonna need something from you. I'm all for that. He was being very aggressive with the dog. I don't want to be right about my hacks, but people always find a way to disappoint me. <laughs> the look of disillusionment. He told her she cried all night. I don't like seeing her sad. Imagine if a woman knew. The fucking restraining order that I would get. <laughs> Literally. I think Angela blames me for what happened at the evil court meeting. Communication is key, Elliot. Hmm. Real human interaction. I mean, girl, we're blaming the wrong people. We can talk. What? You won't talk to me. You haven't talked to me since the meeting. I don't want to talk to you because I feel embarrassed. It's fine. I'll get over it. It's been three weeks. I have to get back to work. You're just going to ignore me? You didn't have to stick up for me in there. Oh. I know that you were just trying to help. Just don't do it again. Even if I'm losing, let me lose. Okay? <laughs> Elliot. If your boyfriend sees this, <laughs> this might be a bad look. The other direction. Look in the other Literally direction. Literally, because, like, why would you be. We were here. <laughs> that was you, boy. <laughs> yes, we were here. Right where he's standing. <laughs> I can't say I did that. Step aside the car. Does this thing like... Sir. Weren't they following for a while now? Go ahead. I'm afraid. Sir, go on in. Is it gonna be the guy? Poor Elliot. <laughs> like a week ago he just lived, uh, I mean for him, normal life. Oh, that's like evil corp. Oh my god, would hate for this to be me. <laughs> oh, he. Bonsoir, Elliot. Fuck, he did see. Shit. Please tell me you're seeing this too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Arvo, you're good. You're good. Oh. That looks like the thing in the episode 1% of the 1%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. This is better than I thought it was gonna be. Really? Yeah, this is right up my alley. This I agree, right up it my was alley. great, honestly. And through this entire episode, I was just reminded. I didn't think that um, the part that I'm really enjoying, that I mean, because I didn't know what the show was about. <laughs> I was like, okay, sure, he's like a hacker, whatever. And I thought it was just gonna 
be working for a firm and like dealing with his I guess mental health in a way or like his I guess he has social anxiety and everything I thought it was gonna be like about that I didn't think we were gonna get into social issues and capitalism and the society <sighs> give me all of that I love <laughs> that let's just do that <laughs> that's the part that's really right up my alley so um, I think I think it was really it this. was weird for me that to not able to literally say anything to this entire episode. <laughs> no, but I because whatever I want to say, I'm like I can't say yeah. not because I'm gonna spoil something, just because like I watched it already, you know. Yeah. yeah like yeah. what am I gonna do? Predict? What am I gonna <laughs> do? Literally, whatever. No, like there were literally points in time where I was like thinking maybe he maybe like the the plot of the show is gonna be like at the end of the season we figure out that. He has, like, a split personality disorder and he's, like, chasing himself. Like, I thought maybe he was going to be chasing the people that are... Because, like, (laughs) what we have learned in the show pretty quickly was, like, that uh, they keep getting hacked. And so, like, I thought, because he's clearly very good at what he does, I thought, and he hates the evil corpse, uh, and I thought that it's just going to be a thing of, like, he has, like, a split personality disorder and he is actually hacking them and he just, like, doesn't remember them. I literally thought they were... <laughs> I was like, I fucking cracked the code. <laughs> In the like, first five yeah, yeah. minutes of the episode. I was like, I fucking cracked it. I know what this is about. <laughs> I thought I thought it was going to be that. <laughs> uh, yet it wasn't. So, like, when... The, I think it's because I thought he was also Mr. Robot. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so, like, when that guy appeared and it was, like, Mr. Robot, I was like, oh, it's his mind. <laughs> yeah, I thought... <laughs> he's he imagining Mr. things. Robot because, like, he's the main guy. And yeah, the show is I, called mm. Mr. Robot. So, it would make sense, definitely. Yeah. And so, like, that's what I thought uh, in the beginning, that it's gonna be, like, that's that was gonna be the plot. I yeah, literally yeah. thought it was gonna be the one that's, like, yeah. doing all of this and just, like, yeah. doesn't know it. Which would have been fun, but I kind of prefer this. <laughs> no, 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 I, I definitely this prefer this. I was about to say, uh, aren't you happy that that's not the plot? Yeah, I am. <laughs> because it would be weird to have no character, yeah. just his mind. Yeah. <laughs> just the people that he makes up in his mind. But also because also the episode started off with him speaking to, I mean, he's speaking Actually, to the audience. Actually, I feel, yeah, yeah I, it's like he imagined us, he was, yeah. where he's imaginary yeah. friend. Uh, and I really... Oh my god, he's Fleabag. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. That, yeah, yeah, I really uh, am enjoying that aspect of like him talking what's in his mind while mm. no one else is actually hearing it except for, uh, for yeah. us. Like, we're really diving deep into what he's thinking constantly, you know? Yeah. And how he's feeling. Like, maybe he would not say those... Uh, things in that way to let's say his psychi- psychiatrist mm-hmm. but like he would tell it uh, but like we know how he's feeling you know mm-hmm. I, I yeah I really like that I, I, I think I think like that beginning portion was the thing that made me think that like <laughs> it was kind of his mind um, but again it's not um, we have many ep- um, many characters in the show mm-hmm. I would say we have uh, yeah let's say ton characters. I think. But I could be wrong. Maybe I just know for something else. But I feel like I've seen the girl. Well, which girl? Not Angela. The one that has the old woman's name. Uh, Darlene? Yeah. Darlene. Yeah. Darlene. Oh my god, Darlene. Like in Ozark. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I was about Darlene. to say, like, who the fuck do you know that's called Darlene? And then <laughs> you Ozark. think it has to be an old lady. <laughs> I mean, Darlene sounds like an old lady's name. Uh, yeah, we have a lot of characters. Honestly, can't wait. Uh, like, I know some of them. A bit better, better because I watched first three episodes. Mm. Uh, but yeah, I can't wait for uh, you to meet them and for us to meet them more because I really like some of them. Mm. I remember liking some of them. Yeah, I think like I for think example, I've Darlene. Seen Darlene. I remember Darlene. liking. Like, I, Darlene. I think I've seen Darlene, but like I don't know if I just maybe just seen the actress in somewhere. But like I feel like I've I, seen I seen Darlene in regard the, to uh, Mr. Uh, Robot. Uh, yeah, I seen her in regarding Mr. Robert before watching mm-hmm. Mr. Robert but I've also seen the actress before that mm-hmm. I've seen many actors in this show before someone needs to tell me where the fuck I know the guy Mr. Robot that had the jacket I know, I know him I know him? the um, yeah but where do we know him from I know I, him like I well I really know the whole group I knew the whole group uh, from I somewhere I um, before I watched the show I think he was Donna's boyfriend in the West Wing for a bit that made Joss jealous <laughs> now that was a slow burn fucking seventh season <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna really like him. I feel. I mean, I feel like the mo- most of the characters that we have, they seem like I'm gonna like him. I think I'm gonna like Angela. She seems sweet. I don't know if there's gonna be like a thing there uh, between the two of them. 
Like there was that moment at the end. I don't. I do not know. Like it seemed like there I was. I don't remember what exactly happened in the next few ep- two episodes for, with them. I mm-hmm. really do not. But I remember that I thought they were mm-hmm. something gonna happen. I mean, there was a moment there. Yeah. Like I don't know if we we're gonna like address that or something. Yeah. Uh, but there was definitely a moment. We're gonna see. There is um, Sheila, his drug dealer. Oh, okay. Uh, like in my mind I didn't think she was gonna be a character I was like she's there to drugs and like she's gonna go off but, like no, sure I think she's, she's gonna, gonna be, be constant like, okay Sheila I mean I really remember her sure I can't wait more to meet the whole Mr. Robot group I mm. think I'm gonna like like all of them I know I remember liking Darlene or that already mm. but I think I'm how gonna... many of them are there I'm like there's sure. Darlene there's the guy there is at least four of them mm-hmm. now there with Mr. Rob with our uh, with Alan. but we'll see and uh, there is probably more of them there I don't remember okay I don't remember exactly everything but I remember a lot of scenes let's say mm. That they're coming up, coming up, up. Um, Interesting. Yeah. So yeah, uh, I I again really enjoyed again watching the first episode. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I uh, really like the storyline. That's the thing. I really like the storyline, and can't wait to see more. I uh, love the goal <laughs> yeah, yeah, of what they're doing. When he started talking about it, uh, like uh, taking down the company. And then he started saying about how they can, they own like 70% of the... All the debts. Yeah, like, it's not debts, but something that involves debts there. Uh, And if they could kind of wipe those records, people would not have to pay out their uh, loans. loans. Uh, And uh, like, if this show is study case on how evil capitalism is give it to me oh my god i love this love this so much like we can we like i can watch 40 hours of that Mm -hmm. easy so that's gonna be great for me so when he said like that that like that's their now goal or whatever that just made me really excited you started rooting for i was like let's Mm -hmm. fucking go like i'm gonna fucking love this Yes, I agree. I love the vigilante, uh, <laughs> Robin Hood, or whatever. I, I'm not even gonna get into I, capitalism I agree, and debts. I agree. I agree. I really like that, uh, and especially because debts, like, ugh, it it falls on regular people who get debts for college or for, God forbid, medical bills. Like, I don't know. I don't fucking know what's worse, education or just like fucking surviving. You know, getting bills on debt while big corporations get their debts paid off by people like that's ridiculous like that's fucking ridiculous if we can destroy that <laughs> and i i wish we could i don't know where this i'm already thinking about the end like what is what is the end gonna be like I mean, it said i know but like it said <laughs> on the it said on paper that it's gonna like evil always wins mm-hmm. and like if we are gonna talk about realistically they're not gonna succeed like, I don't know if the show is just going to go, like, down the realistic route. I think there is much more storyline to be done mm-hmm. uh, for us to get there, mm-hmm. first of all. <laughs> Second of all, we can succeed in some things, we can lose in others. Because, like, even if you win some, like, there is always going to be more evil and more evil, comp- and more big co- corporations mm-hmm. and stuff like that. So, I don't see that one group of people can make a, that big of a change uh in society Mm -hmm. but we'll see would love to would love to see that also i found it very refreshing that like when things are getting hacked and where they're writing in code or whatever that it's not like whenever you see in any movie or in any show anyone who's like coding something oh my god it's like 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 they're doing this and they're like 50 fucking screens popping out when things are getting (laughs) hacked i'm like what the fuck is that (laughs) like what what the fuck is that uh and this was like pretty this was like pretty realistic uh so i appreciate that i elliot is very interesting okay so he has social anxiety does he have like i mean he has also, it looks like some type of childhood trauma. issues, trauma. I don't know what happened there. And he is on morphine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's kind of... But they, like he said, he is keeping it 
to not get let's say addicted to dose, it or yeah like, like 30 I, milligrams i would say he's still addicted to it. yeah yeah like he uh, he's just addicted to a lower dose <laughs> yeah yeah let's say yeah um because there has he said like if i this is uh for uh this is if i get have to withdraw go mm-hmm. to withdrawal because through, like through withdrawal yeah, yeah. Huh? through a withdrawal, withdrawal. Yeah. exactly that's also in my opinion interesting to see yeah it, it's interesting to see the way that he uh functions and the, like what he does i mean it was it's uh, fucking creepy and awful watching him do what he is to like his psychologist like he is looking into her privacy like into her whole fucking life um and that's very just you know that's crossing i mean all, all of those things even to, to angela i mean yeah all, all of that up. all of that is very much crossing lines um and he justifies it to himself saying like you know he wants to protect those people because like they deserve to be protected yeah um, but it's 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 i don't know what i would call it i maybe need to learn more about him to be able to pinpoint exactly why he is doing the things that he is doing like it's a coping mechanism in a way like he kind of that's the way that he understands people maybe i don't know he's very interesting he's very interesting i need to see more yeah honestly, to see like, like how I he said, functions one of the things i like the most is that we are completely in his brain mm. he's telling us everything that we feel and i and uh, we don't have to guess many times you know mm. and i think most of the shows would do something like that you know uh, and here like he tells you <laughs> yeah everything that he thinks and that he feels which is completely different that many people that many stuff i watched yeah i know this episode was uh better than i thought it was gonna be like i really enjoyed it i think it was a really good first episode and again i really like the um, the plot and i think the characters so far uh, very are gonna be very interesting yeah, I agree. I agree. so i really thoroughly enjoyed this yeah me too Okay, Can't guys. wait for the next one. Take, take <laughs> Thank you, you so for much watching. for watching. We'll see you very soon. Bye. Bye.